There we go. It's pulling drag too. I gotta tighten my drag. Hey guys, and welcome back to Real Vibes. Today we're gonna be reviewing the EOW Expedite Max. This is a little telescopic rod, and I really like it. I have the casting version, and I have it paired up here with a Cast King Centron. And I think I have 12 pound monofilament on here in that low vis green color. And that should work pretty well because the pond looks a bit murky. But getting started here, to get this thing undone, you're going to want to take off this cover. And then I'll set that down over here. And you just want to extend this thing. Now I just start right from the bottom and there are no lines or anything like that. So you kind of have to eyeball it. But getting her extended right here, you just want to make sure that all these guides are lined up. And once I have them all out, I like to look down it and just make sure that they're all good. So it looks like down there on the fifth one, I actually have to go back a little bit. So I'll turn that one to the left. And right around there, we should be pretty solid. So here it is fully extended. It goes all the way out to seven foot. And I think they have a six foot version as well. But let's see if we can catch any fish. There we go. It's pulling drag too. I gotta tighten my drag. There we go, get up here. Yes, good looking bass. Good looking bass to start the day, huh? So let's go ahead and get the release. Oh. I think it's gonna be a good day. Got stuck in some rocks, it looks like. Hoping I can get this out. There we go. Hopefully it's still on there. Yeah, we're good. So even with that snag, it was bending quite a bit. And I really wasn't worried about breaking it. I've had this thing for about three months. I've gotten it snagged, I've gotten it caught in trees. And there's a big bass right there but I've never really worried about breaking it. It seems pretty strong. And let's go ahead and see if we can catch that guy. There we go, there's something good. Another bass. You know, he choked it. All right, let's send you back, buddy. So again, the Rod will kind of get unaligned after you catch a few fish on it or you just cast for a while. So just be sure to keep an eye on that. Um, just go around here, try and fix it all up, make it all straight again. And we are back to fishing. Now one thing that I don't like about this rod is the handle. And it's just a minor complaint because I like everything else about it. But the handle is pretty short. You can see right here, it's just not very long. And I can just barely fit both of my hands on there. Now you do have this little trigger right here, and that is nice to rest your hand on there, but even then, there's just not really a whole lot of room for my second hand. So if you like to do two-handed casting, you will notice this right away. And I could see it being an issue if you're fighting a super big fish, but overall it's not that bad. It is just a minor complaint. But again, for being a telescopic rod, this one is pretty sensitive. I have a few telescopic rods. I have a telescopic spinning rod. I also have another casting rod. And out of all of them, this one is the most sensitive, like right there, just got a bite. You can also feel it dragging against rocks. You can feel if you're punching through grass. I'm not too sure how they did it, but it is really sensitive. All right, so we are at a new body of water, and this one's a lot bigger. In here, we have some pike, some largemouth bass, rock bass, bluegill, pumpkin seed, all sorts of stuff. And again, I just love how portable this rod is. I just folded it up, threw it in my truck, and it's good to go. Now it does have a little hook keeper right here on the bottom, but I just like to throw them up here. I just find it a bit easier. But let's go ahead and extend this thing, climb down there and start fishing. Gonna try throwing the old Ned rig. Oh, I got one. I 
I got them on the Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned, and these things are actually really solid. They usually do pretty well for me in this pond, but they only last for like one or two fish, then they're just completely destroyed. All right, so that one was my last cast. I do gotta get going. But overall, I really like this thing. The only complaint I have again is the handle. I just wish that was a little bit longer, but everything else is great. It handles fish well, it's pretty sensitive, and I really do like the finish on here. It's nice light blue, it looks pretty cool. You also have a nice reel seat here, you have the trigger, and I would definitely recommend this rod. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.